Hi, I'm Felipe Gonzalez, and welcome to your News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. November 14th, 2019 was a day that Santa Clarita grieved heavily for Gracie Mulberger and Dominic Blackwell. One year later, the Hart District is dedicating a whole week to help unify the city and heal as a community. Colin Ferguson has the story. Answer the question Why because, answer that question? Because With 2020 being a mentally tasking year, the William S. Hart Union High School District has implemented Wellness Week to promote positivity and togetherness in Santa Clarita. From November 9th to the 14th, each day involves a list of resources and activities that promote mental and physical health, as well as tolerance and acceptance of others. Wellness Week will end with a virtual remembrance of last year's Saugus High shooting, with an event called Unity of Community, with speakers, music, and more all produced by the Saugus High News Network. Eloy Valentine, a bus driver for the Hart District, was there the day of the shooting and laments the circumstances of this week. Our work has kind of given us their kind of like, you know, thank you for helping out. Thank you for doing all this stuff. Unfortunately, tragedy kind of um, makes you much closer to, you know, your community. And that was kind of a big day for everyone. Dave Caldwell, public relations officer at the Hart District, emphasized the importance of mental health among students and staff, as well as coming together during tragedy. We wanted to be able to honor the memories of Gracie Muehlberger and Dominic Blackwell, um, as well as understand uh, and help with any other pain that, that anyone might be going through in Wellness Week is something that is not just being celebrated at Saugus High School, but at all of our high schools, as well as the entire community of the Santa Clarita Valley. Caldwell also describes what will help people heal and come together during the remembrance. It all starts with love. Um, love each other, be there for each other, support each other, um, understand that it is okay to feel sad, understand that it is okay to Feel something that you don't want to, want to feel. That is that is part of being a human being. Unity of Community will begin at 6 p.m. Saturday. For more info on Wellness Week, Unity of Community, and all related activities, visit the Heart District website and click on the Wellness tab. With Canyons News, I'm Colin Ferguson. If you, like many people, have never had the motivation to start running, Canyons News reporter Sarah Hicks may give you a reason to start. Here's the story. From running every street in Santa Clarita to participating in marathons, you may have seen him around town. Josh Vulich has dedicated this year to running for a good cause. Mostly, it, I mean, it, it is about fallen law enforcement. It, I mean, we have um, parks and, and roads dedicated even here in Santa Clarita um, for fallen law enforcement. So it's something that even you know residents out here can take part in. Hope for Heroes is a virtual event where people choose to run certain distances to honor fallen first responders. Anyone can participate to honor someone special in their life. While growing up, when track and cross country season came along, it was a big priority as his dad was a track coach. His background with running has given him many different opportunities and the ability to meet new people. For Josh, running is something him and his father bond over. My, uh, my dad had been running since he was in high school, so um, that was something he liked for us to do. We, we go running a lot still. Um, he's um, in his late 60s now, and he, he still runs. Because of this event, they were able to continue this tradition and honor their community at the same time. Hope for Heroes Virtual Run is sponsored and ran by the Ventura County Deputy Sheriff's Association. For more information about registration, visit their Facebook page and website at eventbrite.com. That is E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E dot -E -E com. That's all I have for you today. I'm Sarah Hicks with Canyons News. Maybe you've noticed it's getting a little cooler lately. Here is Jackie Cardenas with a weather update. On Sunday, November 8th, around 7 p.m., snow started falling heavily on the grapevine. The National Weather Service has declared a freeze warning in the Santa Clarita Valley for the next couple of weeks. Snow is to be expected to fall in the grapevine and other surrounding areas of the city and nearby snow resorts are opening sooner than expected. This past weekend, some small parts of California got several inches of snow, including Big Bear, seeing over a foot of snow, 
This freeze warning advisory was causing dangerous road and driving conditions through the grapevine. Local Highway Patrol had to escort cars through the grapevine while following behind the California Department of Transportation. Could this possibly be a white Christmas this year with the early signs? For Canyons News, this is Jacqueline Cardenas. And that's it for this News Micro. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to stay up to date with what's happening in the Santa Clarita Valley. For Canyons News, I'm Felipe Gonzalez.